Hello, hello. I'm Jamboni ndugu zanguni. Um, I hope mko salama na mko poa na mko mnaendelea vizuri na zaidi ya yote mko safe. Najua the times zile ambazo tunaishi ni ziko worrying, ziko worrisome. Hii hii mambo ya pandemic imekuwa all over the place. Lakini leo nimekuja tu tafadhalini, muniwie tu radhi nimekuja tu just kwa ghafla kwa sababu kuna story ambayo inanikera, inanikera sana. Um, mimi sijui really tutaongea mambo ya kulinda watoto ama kuhakikisha ku, ku, watoto wame you know, wako safe mpaka lini lakini tutaendelea kuongea mpaka siku ile kila mtu wataelewa jinsi na namna ya vile watoto lazima wa, 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 you know, wakuwe safe na vile wanafaa kulindwa na kuangaliwa na kuhifadhiwa so that wasiweze kudhulumiwa ama kufanywa mambo ambayo yatafanya you know, wakuwe na njia zingine ambazo hazifai Leo 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 ta. You know, nimeweza kufikiwa na story ya mtoto Shalin kutoka Western. You know, I hope nyinyi mmeweza kuona historia ya mtoto Shalin, but for the sake ya wale ambaye hawajaona, mtoto Shalin I think ni msichana wa mtoto wa kike msichana ambaye yako around 7 or 8 years na ameweza kunyanyaswa na aunt yake, shangazi yake. Why? 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 Watu kwa mtandao wanauliza why? Why? You know, mimi hii kitu imeniudhi imenikera wakati nimekuwa nikiona hiyo vinu nimeshikwa nimepigwa butoa ikawa sijui ni waze ama ni wazue ama nifanye ni, ni vipi lakini nikasema wacha tu nitakuja tena niongee na my safeguarding families around the world sana sana mama land nyinyi ambao mnasikia hii lugha ya Kiswahili popote pale Afrika ama US UK you know you know uh, Gulfland tafadhalini tafadhalini Mama, baba, kaka, dada. Tafadhalini watoto walindwe. Sisi kama se, by the way, poleni sana, you know I'm Jeff from Safeguarding Watoto Chano. Leo nataka tu tuongelelee kuhusu uh, mtoto Shalini. So, yeah, hizi mambo za zingine zinani work out kwa sababu mimi sijui watu wata, wanataka nini ama kuna kuna watu ambaye wana roho za kinyama na wewe ni mama na umeweza kubeba mimba na ukazaa unawezaje ku treat mtoto mdogo kama kama Shalin design hiyo so i think first and foremost ningependa kuambia wale watu hawajui naongea kuhusu nini kuna mtoto ambaye amenyanyaswa huyu mtoto Shalin kulingana na story yake eh, story yake imeingia katika mtandao i think three days ago na aliweza kwenda sokoni kama kama ilionekana ni tabia kulingana vile anasema kwa video na akaweza kupatikana na I think a good Samaritan ule ambaye nafikiri aliweza kuangalia kumwangalia akaona huyu mtoto wako na shida. Na akaanza kuchukua video na akamuuliza maswali. Nafikiri hii video nitaiweka hapa shortly ili muweze kuona kama wewe hujaiona. Na straight away from pale ule mtoto walipoanza kuangaliwa wakaona kweli mtoto amechapwa vibaya sana. Waliweza kumuinua tu nguo you know, uh, bila kumwaibisha na wakaweza kuona kwa mgongo amechapwa sana mpaka ngozi imechipuka you know so huyu ni mama ama ni baba ama ni nani anachapa huyu mtoto story tunaendelea namna hii wakaangalia huyu mtoto mtoto sio mgongo tu amechapwa mtoto ameweza kuchunwa kwa uso anaonekana na sio mara moja ama mbili amechunwa pande nyingine pia amechunwa zaidi ya yote mtoto amechapwa mkono mkono imevimba hata hawezi wekelea bag kwa pande hiyo sasa wanamuuliza wanamuuliza sasa nani amekufanyia hii kazi mtoto anasema ni anti yangu anauliza unakaa na nani nakaa na anti yangu na anko yangu of course alisema wanakaa wapi na alisema lakini alikuwa hajui anko anafanya kazi wapi lakini alipoulizwa mama yako na baba yako wako wapi akasema mama ako Namibia so ako outside the country hako Kenya na akasema baba ako Nairobi so akaulizwa aka, aka nani alikuleta ulikujaje huku kukaa na anti yako na nguo yako akasema nililetwa na mayanti mdogo ndiye alinileta huko na akauliza na sasa mbona unachapwa mbona unafanywa hizi vitendo akasema ni kwa sababu it apparently sisiki ninaambua nifanye vitu nifuate maagizo kwa kitchen ni kuwe safe kwa kitchen lakini eh, it isifuati hivyo na ndiyo nafanya nichapwe mtoto mdogo wa miaka saba. so guys first and foremost i want to give a shout out to the guy who uh, ule ambaye alichukua hii video Thank you very much from where sikujui na hujaonekana na hata hujasema wewe jina lako ni nani nafikiri umeweka tu video kwa mtandao lakini asanti kwa sababu ya 
kulete hiyo um, you know uh, hiyo story kwa na kuweza ku capture hiyo story um, you did something that was very nice manake kama honge capture hiyo story huyo mtoto hata leo angekuwa bado ako katika hiyo nyumba na angekuwa anaendelea kusafa so asanti sana i know kuna watu wanaongea wanapiga kelele o oh, you know uh, mbwana hakuenda hakuweza ku kwenda apeleke ripoti kwa polisi atu mimi hata sijui nani alipeleka ripoti kwa polisi but what i want to say is ujamali chukua hiyo video asanti sana na that is what i've been echoing kila siku kama safeguarding officer nasema ni jukumu la kila mmoja wetu kuhakikisha watoto wamelindwa sio mtoto wako peke yako kama ni your daughter your son kama ni your sister your brother wewe linda huyo mtoto kama ni mtoto wa your neighbor kama ni your uncle kama ni mtoto wa kijiji mtoto yoyote hata kama umetoka Kosovo ama Kazakhstan ama Japan kama ni mtoto ni kama ule wako ni lazima tumlinde mtoto yoyote ni lazima alindwe popote pale duniani ni lazima alindwe na rights zake zihifadhiwe zi tafadhalini Usiseme tu huyu sio wangu, huyu ni wa neighbor, huyu ni wa nini. Hata kama mtoto ni wa mzee wa kijiji ule ambaye ni mbaya sana, bado huyo mtoto wa lindwe. Yeye sio huyo mzee. Hata kama m- inajulikana nyanya ya huyu anakuanga mchawi, huyo mtoto sio yeye mchawi, mtoto wa lindwe. Tafadhalini my friend. Hii kitu inanikera. Nafikiri wewe ukiangalia hiyo video kama hujaiona, utaona kwa nini mimi am worked up. Na mimi uanga am quite collective. So anyway, so thank you Oh so much ujamali chukua hivi hiyo na thank you ule msichana alirudi akaichukua sita mention majina alichukua arudi akaichukua na kaiweka katika i think iliyoko katika Kilimani Moms and Dads so thank you very much so guys by the way mkipata video zozote ambazo ni za watoto ambazo wanadhulumiwa mnaweza kututag sisi safeguarding watoto chano hiyo ndio kazi yetu na kujaribu ku highlight hizi issue so but thank you very much lakini kabla tuone hii video Hizi video ningependa kusema tunashukuru sana kwa sababu wakati hii video iliwekwa katika I think mitandao Kilimani Mams and Dad na zingine iliweza ku attract a lot of attention so quickly na the area pale ambapo mtoto anakaa huyu mtoto akaenda akaangaliwa na huyu mama akaweza kutiwa mbaroni asante sana to the local chief to the elders to the OCS wa hiyo area thank you very much because huyo mama alikuja akashikwa cha kushangaza sana ni ya kwamba ni mama ambaye unaona ni kama ni mtu kweli ako na akili timamu na ni mama ambaye anaonekana ni kama ako you know ako put together unaweza kufikiria eti ni mama ambaye ako na akili mzuri ambaye na ako na akili timamu zaidi ya yote ako na mtoto mchanga yeye mwenyewe kama huyo mtoto ni wake ako na mtoto mdogo wa less than two years sasa unashangaa unawezaje kuadhibu mtoto kuabuse mtoto design hiyo kwa sababu sio mtoto wako kuzaa alafu uko na mtoto mwingine So that is a cause of concern. Mimi kama safeguarding officer nimeweza ku analyze hiyo video. Na vile huyo mtoto nilimuona kwa mgongo. As I analyze huo hiyo hiyo mgongo wake, ninaweza kuona sio tu siku hiyo 3 days ago ambayo aliweza kuchapwa. Nikiangalia katika alama za mwili, ninaweza kuona ya kwamba kuna black spots za alama zingine huyo mtoto ambaye amechapwa wiki kadhaa zilizopita ambazo ziko dark spots. So sio siku ya kwanza kuchapwa. Huyo mtoto ameweza kukua a, a, anachapwa ama anadhibiwa ama anafanywa mambo mabaya na hiyo familia. Ukiangalia mpaka kwa uso ku, bado kuna dark spot. Hata sijui imekawia namna gani ya kwamba huyu mama hajaweza kujulikana ya kwamba anaweza ku kuabuse mtoto. Na mimi nashangaa hii shule Kings and Queens ambaye huyu mtoto anaenda. Seriously, kwani hakuna safeguarding officer huko? Hii Kings and Queens, maybe the next video that I'm doing nitakuja kuangazia nyinyi nijue kama seriously mnaweza kuangalia eh, how mna safeguard watoto wenu manake mpaka ndio huyu mtoto akuje apatikane kwa market na nyinyi mko shuleni na huyu mtoto wanakuja huko shule na hamwezi kujua ya kwamba mtoto wako na alama ambazo hamfai Una, nitakuja kufanya video eh, you know, hivi karibuni ambazo za obvious signs za kujua wakati mtu anafu, anakuwa abused ama mtu anakuwa safeguard mtu akona safeguarding worries and concerns Manake kama saa hizi mtu ukiona mtu ame, ame akona alama kubwa hapa ama ngozi imechipuka hapa that is hiyo sio area ambayo ni obvious wewe uanguke ama ufanye alafu upate na alama lakini kama ni, 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 ni kwa mkono hapa inaweza kuwa ni kawaida kama imekukuja hapa kwa uso ni kawaida lakini ukipata ingine ambayo iko hapa kwa shingo hapa aa ukipata ile ambayo iko ndani ya mapaja aa 
Ah ah. So kuna nitafanya hiyo video but hiyo shule mimi kwanza one of the things niko worried na hiyo shule manake kama hakuna safeguarding officer then I think it's about time hiyo kings and queens pali huyo mtoto anasomea huko western waangalie na wajue because I think tutawamulika kwa sababu inaonekana nyinyi hamwezi ku safeguard watoto kama hamunge aweza kuona huyu mtoto katika hizi alama za uso na mikono ya kwamba huyu mtoto anapitia issues ai mimi niko worried hapo kiasi The other thing uh, you know uh, issue nyingine ambayo niko naye mama ya huyu mtoto nasikia ako na Namibia kulingana na mtoto na baba ako Nairobi kweli wanaongeaga na huyu mtoto unajua issue sio kuzaa tu mtoto wahenga walisema kazi sio kuzaa kazi ni kulea mwana unaona so msiende tu mfanye kazi na mtafute pesa mko outside the country mwingine ako Nairobi mmedump mtoto kwa your sister the first thing that unafaa kuangalia usifikirie ya kwamba watoto huo wanakuwa uh, wanaadhibiwa ama wanakuwa abused na watu wa mbali no 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 watu loko wala watu ambao wanajua watoto familia jamaa na marafiki wengi hao ndio huwa wana watoto huyu ni anti hatujui kama ni anti ya ni sister mama yake ama ni sister baba yake lakini tunajua ni anti yao so unaona huyu ni mtu ambaye ako familia ako ndani ya nyumba na ndio naona hii kumwabizi huyu mtoto imeendelea for so long mpaka ndio Mungu akuje ifichulie. Kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye hawezi fikiriwa anaweza kufanya mambo mabaya. So I want you guys to open your eyes. Mjue ya kwamba wala watu ambaye wana abuse watoto hawako mbali, wako karibu. Wazungu walisema apples don't fall far away from a tree. It's just around there. So tafadhalini naomba ukuwa mzazi. Usipelekea tu mtoto anti yako ama sister yako ama kazini yako ama anko yenyewe ama shushu. Wewe kwanza jua kama huyo mtu ako na utu. Huyo mtu ako na watoto, analea watoto wake aje. Huyo mtu anapenda kuchapa watoto. Na hata ukipeleka mtoto, rudi huko 2 3 times. Unannounced. Enda tu uangalie uojue uone mtoto wako wapi. Mtoto amefungiwa kwa nyumba na atoka nje. Mbona? Mtoto ana huyu mtoto amesema ati anapatia ngo chakula kidogo. Mtoto wa miaka saba, ama miaka nane, unazidi kumpatia chakula kidogo kama mtoto ya mtoto, mtoto, mtoto. Guys, hata siwezi kuongea. So, kuna a lot of issues ambazo zinafaa kuangaliwa lakini hongereni tafadhalini um, wale uh, chief assistant chief wazee wa kijiji OCS wale ambao wameweza kuchukua huyo mama mkampeleka mbiloni so kuna kitu mimi nataka kusema size tunajua mtoto wako safe manake kuna the second video ambayo imeweza kuwekwa kwa mtandao hiyo nitaiweka baada ya hii video nyingine ili muweze kuona vile zimefuatana so huyo uh, mtoto at least size tunajua amepelekwa hospitali na akaangaliwa na sasa at least ako katika safe custody so mimi hopefully welfare officers wa watoto safe, you know safeguarding officers na children services wataweza kukuja waweze kuangalia ili wajue wazazi wa wao watoto mama ako na Namibia na baba ako na Nairobi na design gani kuna watoto wengine ama ni huyu mtoto peke yake ama hawa watoto wengine wako wapi hawa wazazi wako na capacity because biashara ama kupata pesa sio namba moja namba moja ni kuangalia mtoto wako lazima ujue mtoto wako wako safe hata akafadhali kama huyu mtoto angekuwa Nairobi na baba You know, kwa sababu of course hawezi kuwa anatembea na mama na Namibia na nini depending na mama anafanya nini na Namibia lakini lazima uchunge mtoto wako wako wapi so eh, of course kuna hiyo issue Wa, waangalie children you know children of services waangalie huyu mtoto ameachwa na wazazi wake na alipelekwa kwa anti yake kwa nini na wafuate kama hawa wazazi hawawezi kumwangalia huyu mtoto na kama wako na watoto wengine then let the children be removed from them because they have no responsibilities kuzaa ni responsibilities right so the other thing huyu mama tafadhali mimi nimemuona ameshika mtoto na you know uh, i do not advocate you know watu ku, ku take matters kwa mikono yao na waanze kumgonga nini najua watu wamekasirika na nini lakini it is nice kuachilia serikali deal na mambo hiyo so but naelewa makasiriko ya watu so uh, huyu mama mimi ningesema yeye mwenyewe hafai kuwa na mtoto yoyote hata kama hao wake amezaa kama anaweza kuabuse wa, wa, wa dada yake ama wa sister yake in law hata hata wake ata, ata, ata abuse akikasirika atafanya the same thing so huyu hafai kuwa na watoto hata kama amezaa anafaa watoto waondolewe na yeye anafaa kuwa jela mama kama huyu anafaa discipline na ile discipline anafaa kupatiwa anafaa kupatiwa discipline hard kwa sababu tukiachilia hii mambo tuseme huyu mtoto wa mama ambiwe tu arudi akakae wataendelea kufanya namna hiyo kama kuna mwingine asikie 
huyu mama anafaa aweke atiwe mbaroni na awekwe ndani na awekwe zaidi miaka mingi ili akae huko apate namna ya tabia na ili ikuwe funzo kwa wengine ya kwamba ukijaribu ku, 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 you know, ku, usipolinda mtoto na ujaribu kumfanyia mambo mabaya kama vile mama amefanyia huyu mtoto tutakuadhibu zaidi na sisi serikali tutalinda watoto kweli in every country every country hata wanyama huo wanalinda watoto wao jaribu kucheza na mtoto wa kuku utaona vile kuku atakufuata akukimbize jaribu kucheza na mtoto wa kondoo au mambuzi the same thing lion hizo vitu zote zinafanya kama wanyama wanaweza kulinda watoto mbona sisi binadamu tusiweze kulinda watoto hakuna country ama kijiji ama community ambayo huwa hawalinde watoto wao we must do that so sisi tafadhali naomba tulinde watoto na waangaliwe vizuri na kama mtu hawezi kulinda watoto kazi yake ni kuwa abuse awekwe jela apelekwe aende akakuwe discipline akitoka atakuwa ameshika namna ya tabia you know so na, na ningependa sana kushukuru yu, yu, nyinyi safeguarding officers kwa vile najua nyinyi mko sawa tafadhali ni naomba mkienda tu pahali kama vile huyu jamali aweza kuchukua angalia assess fanya a quick analysis ya mtoto angalia mbona huyu mtoto analia taka kujua taka kujua tafadhali usiwe na haraka sana taka kujua hii kazi yote ni kusaidiana tunasaidiana na Mungu ndiye anaenda kutubariki simama tu kidogo tumia tu 5 minute jua tu huyo mtoto mbona analia ama mbona huyo mtoto amejificha ama imekuwa vipi huyo mtoto inaonekana ni kama amekasirika ama kuna wasiwasi ukijaribu kuangalia huyo mtoto wakati alikuwa anafanywa hiyo 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 nini eh, mahojiano hapo hapo sokoni mtoto alikuwa na wasiwasi ako traumatized mimi nikijaribu nikifanya analysis naona mtoto wako na fear ana worry anaogopa hata kuchelewa pale sokoni maana yake anajua akichelewa anti yake atakuwa ameangalia saa so alikuwa anaongea na huyu akiangalia uchu, nani ananiona nani ananiona kama kuna mtu ananiona maana yake huyu mtoto hakufikiria eti hii itaingia kwa mtandao so ako na worry ako na fear ako traumatized anaogopa you know so th- th- kuna mambo mingi sana sasa huyu mtoto huyu mtoto itabidi aende ther- through therapy ama counseling for a long time because yale mambo ambayo amepitia ni magumu na machafu so tutaomba Mungu amsaidie tuweze kumpatia tumuombe na zaidi ya yote aweze kupata therapy na counseling ili tuweze kuondoa hayo mambo yote ili alafu kutoka hapo either wazazi wake wamchukue wamlinde na wamtunze ama apelekwe katika sehemu ambazo atalindwa vizuri na akue akue a good lady because anaonekana ni mtoto ambaye ako sawa na anaweza an, kujielezea vizuri sana she is very articulate So um, thank you so much guys naomba tafadhali ukishika hii video sambaza zaidi ya wote sio kwa sababu eti tunataka mama tunajua ameshashikwa huyu ambaye alikuwa anafanya hizo tabia anti lakini tunataka kila mtu ambaye ana uanga anachezea watoto ambao anaharibu watoto aweze kuona hii video na ajue ya kwamba akijaribu kufanya kama kama kuna mtu anafanya mambo kama hayo aache na tunatuma idhini ya kwamba kama wewe unajua wewe ni mtu ambaye unachezeanga watoto ama unajaribu kuchafua watoto ama kuabizu watoto tafadhali wacha nasema watoto wakuja waondolewe kwako kwa sababu soon as we get to know that is what you are doing tutakumulika na utasafa your fate wazungu walisema ku commit crime you do the time so guys wacheni nionyeshe hii video nikionyesha hii video alafu nyenye nyenye mwenyewe mtajiangalia mtasema eh, tafadhali naomba kusikue na mtu ambaye anaweza kuja kumtusi mtoto mkiweka, mkiweka comment zenu tafadhali zikuwa properly kwa sababu sisi tunafanya kazi na watoto otherwise uh, itabidi tu, tuzime comment na ni vizuri watu tu kusikia watu vile wanasema manake that is how we grow one with another otherwise um, we are safeguarding watoto kazi yetu ni kulinda ku, na kuhakikisha watoto wame, wamelelewa vizuri na njia ambazo zinafaa na hawadhulumiwi hawanyanyaswi design ya vile Shalin ameweza kupitia machungu you know so tafadhali tunaomba uweze kusubscribe kama uja subscribe katika safeguard watoto tafadhali tunaomba pia ushare hii video weka tia comment yako hapo pia tusikie vile unasema na tunaomba tafadhali kama vile tumesema ikuwe appropriate otherwise Mungu awabariki na tuendelee kulinda mtoto popote pale basi wacha tujiangalie hii video and from there let's continue doing that mbarikiwe sana
Unaitwa nani? Eh? Chanel. Chanel. Na nani amekucha hapa? Auntie. Anakucha hapa kwa nini? Na mama kwa wapi? Malavu. Na baba kwa wapi? Nairobi. Wewe unasoma wapi? Kings and Queens. Class gapi? Nana nakupelekaga Kings and Queens. Ebuo ebuo hiyo mkono yenye imeumia. Sasa yeye alikuchapa lini hapa mgongo? Leo. Leo. Ati umefanya nini? Anataka usikie mambo gani? Nikiambia kitu nisikie. Kama gani? Niko careful kitchen. Mhm. Niko careful kitchen. Niko careful kitchen. Mm. Wewe ndio unapika? Wana shave yomo. Na wewe ndio unaleta chakula? Umenunua nini sahi? Unua mboga. Na nini me, nini umefanya hapa? Alinichuna. Alikuchuna? Na hii mkono. Na hii mkono? Alinichapa. Na huku nini umefanya? Alinichapa. Umesema unaitwa nani? Shanin. Shanin. Unasoma Kings and Queens. Mm. Sasa so 2, grade 2. Mm. Na antia naitwa nani? Evelyn na ankwa naitwa nani? David. Anafanya wapi? Anafanya wapi baby? Na nana alikuleta kwa aunty. Baba yangu. Baba yako? Aunty yangu mpandi yangu mdogo ndo nilileta. Alikuleta? Mm. Nana kupatiaga dawa. Mm. Au naoga? Mm. Nakula unakula vizuri? Mbona mm. nipate chakula kidogo? Asubuhi na kunywa chai ukienda shule. So, nafikiri umeweza kujionea hiyo video vile iko. So, na umeweza kuona vile mambo iko. So, tafadhali ni kama vile nilikuwa nimewaambia pale mbeleni. Tafadhali naomba mutie comment zenu hapo chini. Share this video, like it, na zaidi ya yote, please subscribe katika sehemu gani watoto chano. Na najua very soon tutaweza kuja ama kuonana katika video nyingine. But in the meantime, naomba tafadhali you safeguard a child somewhere.